Hello everybody, my name is Aaron Day and welcome to uh, another trailer reaction. This one is Sonic the Hedgehog number 3 official trailer for uh, the movie that's coming out this year on 2024. Now, um, I have semi-memories of Sonic. Um, I never played... Okay, look, listen. I played one game and that's because... It had a very cool werewolf thing in the trailer. I was like, oh, that looks sick. Let me buy that game. And so I did. I bought, uh, I went and got the, um, the little, uh, or first I got, uh, Sonic Unleashed for the PlayStation 3, right? And then, uh, I bought the little, uh, little toy it came with. Apparently that's rare nowadays, so that's cool. I still have it, actually. I'll probably show it sometime. But, uh, yeah, like, after I after I got the game, I played it for a bit, and honestly, I got lost in like a certain part of the game, so I never got to beat it. So it's just kind of it's just kind of been there. But uh, uh, let me know if you want me to finish that. I'll finish that sometime soon, probably. After I get through my Mario playthrough, I'll probably go for Sonic. Anyways, um, not much, not not many experience with the other games, so like. Like really, like it, it, it didn't have much interest to me also because I didn't have, I didn't have a PlayStation, uh, four all that very soon. Nor like you know, I didn't go through like the game store and then see Sunday games like, huh, I want to try that. So then I take them home. But now, now that I'm a gamer professional, uh, I want to play all these games and I want to play the ones that are appealing to my taste. Anyways, enough topic about the games. Now I want to talk about the movie. Um, I enjoyed the first Sonic, and I really, really, really enjoyed the second one. Like especially like the first one was good. Don't get me wrong, the second one was great. Like I'll I'll, I'll go above and say that. And even the first one, I have like such fond memories, especially if you know what was going on with the first movie. Uh, first that design. I'm gonna be hundred percent. I didn't a hundred. I didn't like completely hate it, but I still didn't like you know a few scenes with it. You know, you, you know what I mean. If you think about it, the first time, <sighs> I'm already sleepy. Yeah, but it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. We're good. Um, yeah. So yeah, the first design it was all there, and then the second design that they came up with was top tier i will say like very very good for sonic like it fits both in uh i guess game accuracy like what whatever their models were and then uh accuracy to how they would look if they existed irl that being the case i would also agree with the blue arms which i feel really really work with sonic because i mean it would make sense even because you know I'm sure hedgehogs don't have naked arms, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably have to look that up just, just to get a proper, uh, proper viewing. Uh, okay. But yeah, that's what that's a part of movie, movie Sonic's design that I really, really like. And I feel naturally should be put into his game form. Like, it's just, it's just like natural, like, because it makes more sense to me, you know? For him to have uh, fur on his arms, all the way down to his gloves, like that, uh, uh, like that's a design that really, really fits to me, like real. And even then, when I saw the movie, I saw it in, uh, I saw it at theaters, right? And it was literally right before uh, twenty twenty happened. You know, it was like the last movie I saw in cinema at the time, and it was like, whoa, I didn't expect to see. I didn't expect that was the last movie I was going to see for a minute, <laughs> but it was. And then, uh, yeah, so, and really, I, 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 I went into that movie theater, I brought uh, nachos, and then I enjoyed myself thoroughly through the whole, the whole movie. And then the second movie came out, and I also really enjoyed it. I was, I, I glazed it a little bit a few times, but like, I, I, I really do like, I liked it for the time. I, I think that Morbius was a decent, alright movie. But right afterwards, I really wanted to see Sonic, so I was like, I wonder if I can go see it already. But then I looked at the time, it's like, ah, it was, it wasn't a good time. 
which sucked. But then we saw it. Uh, we saw it. I saw it um, sometime after, and it, I really loved that one too. It was really good, like really satisfying, uh, both in movie and in uh, in story. So uh, yeah, like because of course you know that one had more to do with Sonic it had the humans as the B plot, which uh, once upon a time that was a rare uh, occasion. Like, even for the first movie, as much time as there was for humans, there was a good enough time for Sonic. <laughs> now, uh, things have changed. There's the, 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 we have more time with Sonic and less time with humans. And that's made evident by the second movie. And, actually, I have not seen the Knuckles show yet, but, uh... Let me know if I, if I, if I, if it's like, I don't know, I've heard conflicting things. I'm usually pretty positive about stuff, but it's like, you know, streaming service. Okay, um, so yeah, but here we have Sonic 3, the official trailer. Oh, wait, actually, I do have one more thing to mention. Um, so this was like a long, long time ago. This was like back when I was, you know, when at that middle age when you're like, um, you're like between kid and toddler and you're just like you're conscious but you're also like still unsure of what you're doing so we were in this uh this like little kids dentist place right and we're in this little like waiting room right so in the waiting room there was this little uh tv set and this tv set had uh i think it was a game boy something it had a little i had like a tube that connected out and in that tube was a wire that was connected to a controller. And the controller was connected to a TV, a little TV thing. And in that game, it was uh, some some Sonic racing game. And I was like, whoa, this is this is a racing game. It's so cool. And I saw, I saw Shadow. And I was like, whoa, this guy looks cool. He's like, Sha he's like Sonic, but he's black and red. He looks so cool. And... I thought he was pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, I draw something. Hold on. So, yeah, like you could say, oh, my fascination with Shadow began when I was just a little, little guy. When I was a little guy, little, little boy. Um, so, yeah, like, and, and, and obviously he has some sort of understandable following with certain games. Uh, I don't know much I, I do know a bit about shadow mostly because i watch the sonic fan dubs and they're they're very good they're very well done um i i, I haven't played the games so that they actually dub but i like, i want to to be honest i want to go to be I, but though it's gonna be really hard for me if i play those games to not say what they say in the dubs maria you know so uh yeah i'm very curious what I'm really curious what the story they'll adapt for here, because a lot of people are saying it's going to be like Sonic Adventure 2, which I've seen, again, only seen a little bit of. And I'm curious to see how they will adapt, if they will adapt, to something similar like that for this. So I, I see it working as like a good middle ground between, okay, there's an adapting of what's to come in the video game, plus what's already been established in this world, which is... Really, a lot, frankly. Like, we already have Super Sonic. We have the Master Emerald. We have Knuckles here, Tails. Uh, they're all just a great found family. And uh, it's actually found family. I actually really do like how the progression that went from Sonic and, uh, and freaking Donut Lord. It went from uh, best friends to father and son relationship, which is... It was very sweet, it, it, especially in that scene. Like uh, they're all they're all the adopted family, and now they have one more to adopt in their family. Hopefully, they have one more to to bring into their family, and we shall see how uh, much will we shall see we shall see how this will be edited. Who knows? Anyways, I've talked and yawned long, long enough. Let's get into the movie. We will start Sonic 3 Adventure. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 official trailer 2024 movie in 3, 2, 1. Play. Sonic, you finally found your family. Yeah. 
Whoa. I know it hasn't always been easy. Fire hands. But you didn't change who you are in here. Oh. Yeah. In my lungs. <laughs> For your heart. Nice. Original film. There's been a high level security breach. Oh, it's him. Whoa. We need Team Sonic's immediate assistance. <laughs> He's wearing a hat. Project Shadow is far beyond anything we've ever encountered. Whoa. Shadow's story began a lot like He is the transmission. Sonic. Maria! And you found family and friends. Oh no, she's gonna. Shadow found only pain and loss. Oh, they're literally, they're gonna do it. A rogue alien on the loose. How do we find it? Start with a giant fireball? I love it. Let's start with a giant fireball. Nice. Oh, that's cool. He is much more impressive than the hedgehog I fought previously. Dude, I'm standing right here. <laughs> You're colorful, aren't you? We don't want to fight you. Actually, Sonic. I would like to fight. No, no. Ooh. Ooh. My turn. Whoa. Yo. He's too powerful. Wow. When has that ever stopped me? Oh. <laughs> Doctor. We have visitors. This is sad, Robotnik. Even for you. We need your help. On one condition. <laughs> what? Do this! <laughs> if I can't rule Based the up. World, Based stone. I might as well save it! I need room. Sir, I don't have the proper materials. Found some. This <laughs> is. When we're done, there won't be anything left. He's on a motorcycle. What did you do? What I had to. Whoa. Wow. Welcome home, my boy. Whoa. It's impossible. Is it? It couldn't be. Couldn't it? I am. Are you? In the saggy flesh. <laughs> Old man Rabani. Wow. Wow, that was, that was way more than I thought they would be. I thought it would be like, you know, like a teaser trailer kind of thing where it's like, oh, there's just a little bit and then you get... Uh, we'll save the regular stuff for uh, the full-fledged trailer, you know? But this was straight up like, wow. Like, it was like an official, official trailer. That's neat. That's very cool. Uh, wow, yeah, like... You know, it, like, don't get me wrong. I like teaser trailers. Showing of, you know, what's... What will... It's a little... It's a tease, per se, for what's going to come in the actual movie and then the trailer trailer is going to let you know on what's the story so this is really uh telling us a lot about not a lot but like a good amount of what's going to happen so uh yeah like and and i did mention a few things because they're like yeah I, I, if i recall the there is a, there is a a father robotnik eggman or uh, his dad or something in the games, you he's like you, you, you're paying for what you've done, uh, blah, 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 and you the fear and the, this giant worm thing from the uh, 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 yeah something like that. I can't I cannot recall right now, and um yeah and uh, Maria, uh, uh hold on uh, let's go we'll get to this right now. Let's just, let's break down the trip. Oh, is you, um yes. Yeah, Sonic looks good as always. Like they 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 they've really updated their not updated but like made a good amount of uh progress in their CGI. Especially with these characters like oh that's the wrong <laughs> that's not an appropriate emo to use right now. Um Yeah, like so interesting and here we get uh is on long claw. It's Sonic 
And I wanted to mention this before, but actually, when they bring up the the flashback in uh in um for uh Son Sonic Two, when they say okay, Knuckles family and uh Knuckles uh, yeah family and uh, Longclaw, when they got into a fight, apparently neither of them survived, which. I mean, it is interesting, but also like they don't show the fight. I don't know if this, I don't know if this connects to uh, what happens in the Knuckle Show, but I always thought like, okay, if they both uh, went into the fight and none of them survived, and we didn't, we don't even see the fights. So what do you think actually happened? Like, were they actually was it, did a third party actually come in and destroy them? So it looks like, I mean, just for them to bring this up here makes it sound like. They, there's more to the story than what's to, what's been told. Otherwise, you know, they probably wouldn't have shown this again. But it is nice to see, you know, flashback of where he's from in the new Sonic. He looks great. Like, they did a good job of even updating his weird flesh color from the games into, um, into fur. Like, it works for here, too. Like, he's not just all hairless there also in his nose and his and uh, the hot take i mean it works for the games i guess but i feel like they made a very good decision not giving him a single a single eye especially for you know live action which i mean i know everyone dislikes uh i mean it's it, don't get me wrong i like live action movies and i like animated movies but if i were to if I were to say, like, just descriptively, like, I, uh, the reason I like live action movies personally is because it fills that wonder between, um, between, you know, when you had, when you were, like, a kid, right? Like, you want to know what characters, uh, animated or otherwise look like IRL. And you, and you keep thinking about that. You're like, oh, I wonder would it be so cool if they were in real life, all that. In a way, live action movies kind of, they kind of fulfill that for me, you know? I won't say, defend all live action movies. There's some a lot of them that I haven't even seen, um, but I will say the ones that I have seen, I will I do find them interesting. And uh, Sonic the Hedgehog is no uh, no stranger to that. I've said it before, but I really enjoyed their movies, and I feel like this one's gonna be really good too. So uh, here we have uh, this is Alcatraz, a prison, a base, a gun base for. Uh, Shadow, which I thought I thought it was underground. Yeah, it's gun. So, uh, yeah. Well, I guess this could be way underground. The base, like, have bro here and here, like all for one. Oh, there's the guy from. Yeah, it looks he looks so cool. Look at this <laughs> kind of a little guy. Bro, I flew here. Um. And there's this guy. I think he's isn't he the same guy from the first two movies? The gun officer. He was replying with uh the um. The Dairy Queen card. Or not the Dairy Queen, um, Olive Guard. And yeah, here's Shadow. He looks cool. I like his glowy, uh, reddish, orange energy, which it works for him. And this is cool. Look at his glove. So it is interesting. And I like this. This is cool. They had the throw a ring. Actually, this is a interesting question. Uh, where do they get more of these rings? I assume they'll answer that at some point, but, like, I always assumed it was only a limited amount that Shadow actually, or Sonic actually had, but they had a good amount of rings in this, in the first movie, then the second movie, and then now there's this movie? I'm very curious if they'll answer that, but maybe the Emerald can make more rings? I don't know. Which they do have. They do still have, so I feel like, I don't know. Maybe it's because it was a risk that Sonic took when he first unlocked uh, Super Sonic. So that's why he won't use that straight away here. Because like, he won't be the friend you know or something like that. But yeah. And it's even... It may be already Eggman colored. Because, you know, it's, it's looking pretty greenish here. His tails with the hat on. He's so adorable. I love him so much. He's great. Look at him. They're just approaching a hedgehog with a gun. And he looks he looks really great. Hold on. There you go. He's good. Uh, good. Good. There he is. Look, he looks really good. I remember uh, 
I, I for one, was freaking out about the post credits that they dropped with him in there, which is like you know, I, 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 I don't think I heard that those we were doing. That was just what everyone was assuming what was going to be the post credits. Okay, like we have we have tails, we have knuckles in both movies, and now we're gonna have this guy. So I mean, it works. Like he, I think it works very well for a third movie for him to be. Uh, give or take, probably the main main villain, but I'm not even sure about that. But like you know, because we already did his kind of have okay, he's a main villain, then teams up with the good guy at the end, start the real bad guy. For this, this seems to be, uh, Shao's just gonna be a straight villain the whole, or not even a villain, but just an, an antagonist maybe. It's uh, it's a good line between villain and antagonist, and I guess anti hero. Whatever uh, the case is, he will be the the conflict in this movie, which is made no appearance, but given how he's able to destroy pretty much anything. Like, look, he straight up teleports, which I assume they're making it out to be it's his natural power and not that he just yoinked, a, he yoinked a, an emerald, which, I mean, it fits more to his character, I would say. But yeah, they, 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 I assume this is him. Searching through Eggman's place. But yeah, here we have... Here, this is the most interesting part. Because it does not seem to be shying away from... Uh, whatever uh, the game origin is. With uh, Shadow and... Uh, this girl here. Which, I mean, look at him. He looks so soft. He's just a, he's just a little guy. I like, his, I like his rings, too. His gloves, also. Like, it's like a glove... The ring is in there, and then there's like a little black, uh, a black thing there. That's that's neat. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they come off like apparently in the games. That's cool. Yeah, he looks nice. And there's tails. He's great. Then there's knuckles, also great. And I like how they they have this little like I like this little uh training thing where they're both running. And honestly, they they these they look really good, like. They didn't look bad in the second movie at all, but they look really good for this movie. I would say. Wrong one. Yeah, like, and they all seem to be racing, which, it makes sense. They're all, like, somewhat e equally, uh, somewhat equal in speed. So it makes sense for them to be, you know, be doing that. But be careful, because you might hurt your found family. Yeah, he says something here about loss or something like that. Which, I mean, it does seem like they're going to do what they do in the games. And yeah, he he, he looks cool, too. Oh, this seems... This, this seems to be it. Yikes. I, I keep doing that. But yeah, that's a cool killer helicopter. Oh, Tails is flying it. Well, whoever that is. I don't doubt Tails' ability to fly a helicopter, but I was going to reach out. Who is that? Is it just some random helicopter man? Or are they working with Gun to find the... Hold on, is that Eggman's thing down there? I can't see. His, sig his uh, signature picture. Then there's an explosion happened down there with red fire. You never want to see that. Then the trio, they all, I like how they all hop down. Look at them, <laughs> they're really they're 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 awesome. It's great to see. It's great to see this trio in live action. Bro, put his hands up like he's gonna fight. Bro, you're like twelve. Go sit. Go sit down. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doubting his ability to do anything, but I don't know if he's gonna do anything against this guy. Uh, yeah, they they look so good. And he, and he speaks here, actually. I, ooh, I like his, I like his, I like his design also. Which I guess you know, I think it made sense for that teaser to be modeled specifically after Sonic, but they did still have a few changes. And it looks like for this movie, they gave him a few good more, which it works really well here. Like he looks very expressive. He looks very different from Shadow, or very different from Sonic. And I think I think his voice sounds cool too. Keanu Reeves, which 
they did call back in the first movie. And I like how, ooh, this is cool. So it seems like right before he wants to teleport, he gets his whole, whole body's encompassed in a flash of light. Oh, well, not even flash of light. Ooh, that's that's really good, like framework here. So he's going, he runs it for a punch, and then he has his orange energy encompass him. Then he bloops. That's cool. There's like a little effect there also. That's really neat. He just bloops. And then he appears right here. And it looks really good. Like this isn't very cool. This like makes a very clear evidence that he is definitely more powerful than Sonic and Knuckles. And like he tries the same move with with Shadow that he did with Sonic. In a way. Oh well, in a way he's getting you know overpowered here. But also like you know it is different because he was the driving force in the first movie. Or the second movie. But now this guy is the... The bad guy here. And he seems strong too. Like he grabs his fist. And he squeezes it. And man it looks like it hurts. And he twists his hand. Which also really looks like it hurts. And it's made evidence here by his reaction. Poor guy. And then he's kicked upwards. Well he's pulled upwards. Like this. And just kicked upwards and then he teleports to go above him or well at least what it seems to be but yeah like yeah you have son it's just sonic ready to fight him like my turn he's, he's he's cool but also like bro look out you have him right behind you And yeah, that effect that he that he like blinks into existence when he teleports is very cool. And then poor dude, poor Tails, he just gets kicked out of the way. Like, bro, go sit down. And he blinks again. Only to grab him by his neck and throat. And then and, and he can fly. He used his little his rocket boots here. Which I don't know, I always I didn't I never saw it as I always I was like Ice skating, whatever's, but yeah, like seems like he can. They're like propulsions too. That's very cool. So it does like you know, it gives you a clear indication of what his powers are, or at least powers plus equipment, because he can teleport naturally. It seems, but also he has these cool little uh, boots that propul propulsion and fire, which is definitely you know that definitely adds him up in. In levels of threats, you know, like because you can you can't just go up and shoot him. <laughs> Obviously, from what we see with, you know, other people in this trailer. Yeah, like boom, that's crazy. I you know, like how his his energy is made clear with uh, knuckles being red and uh, him being orange. Yes, yeah, so how we have a uh, this going on. I don't even know what this is. A big, big saucer that Bro decided to make. I assume maybe this is where he lives when he decided to go out and hiding. Eggman. Oh, and he looks cool right there. We're literally skating on water. That's that's straight up from the games, even. Like that's cool. Then he fights a bunch of army guys. I assume or gun agents. He. Gives him a good kick and such. Then, bro, he like that guy is probably dead. And here we have, is that donut guy? I'm not even sure. Yeah, like he looks really good. Oh, well, I'm not even sure. This seems to be like his first. What happened? But it seems to be different. And they, we have this thing, which is interesting. There's like a black hole. That's made out of red energy. Is this like a red ring, maybe? And you have the trio over there tied up, which is interesting. Yeah, like that looks very cool. I wonder, do you think I'll get super shadow or something? I feel like they have to raise the stakes between, you know, because we barely even saw apparently what the true power of Super Sonic was. So we don't even know what's going to happen with that. Look at his he's <laughs> worried and Knuckles like, hmm. Oh yeah, this is cool. Like apparently we need help, and they 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 were leaked by Agent Stone, best sidekick. Look at him, 
You look so happy. And there's a giant crab back there. That's cool. And yeah, here we have Bro's been hiding and I, I don't, I don't, I, he's a cool basketball thing over there. That's neat. There's a slushy guns. Old knives, I assume. Tubes. A uh, window, I think. And a stool. I think that's stool. And yeah, here we have, I guess, game accurate in your Rodney. Agent Stone, he's great. Uh, yeah, and he looks the same. Like, which is an interesting, this is an interesting flip from what it seemed to be. It, it, usually it'd be like, oh, we need uh, Shadow's help in order to stop Robotnik. Now it seems like we need Robotnik's help to stop Shadow, which it is interesting because, you know, you we never you never think we'd get this pairing because, I mean, it'd just be me, but the, 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 the trope when a hero and a villain team up to stop a, a more powerful evil will always never not be raw. <laughs> and bro, he has to shave him, and he apparently has to go. He has to go bald again. Apparently, oh, that's funny. He has a sign for an occupied stall. Wait, hold on. What does it look like? A oh, vacant, and then occupied by him. That's funny. And Age of Stone looking great as always. December. He looks really good. Pretty much, pretty much a shame. Wearing the, wearing, wearing his casual wear. Here we have some, uh, Shadow running through something. I assume this is a big machine. And then there's a giant purple light in this, lightning in the sky. Whatever that means. Like, what's, what's going on with that? I'm very curious what they are showing us and they're not showing us. Yeah, like, Shadow looks really good. Look at him. Like, he looks great. Ooh, this is cool. And he, he puts him on a motorcycle. Which is not, it's not something you would expect from this man to be using, but I guess he does. Which is apparently also, uh... Game accurate in a sense to. No wait, but this is interesting. Is he, is he intending to fight him here, or is he riding alongside him? Because he does, you know, already start turning to the side, even. I I literally thought, bro, was that a was that a green screen back there? <laughs> but no, that's just the way a building looks. But yeah, like that's interesting. Ooh, is that is that him behind them? Hold on, there's a car, or there's a light, right after Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails take off. Is that is that is that him already teaming up and following them? It could be, right? Okay, there's there's the ship. Knuckles is back there, and then Tails just hopped off. What's what could they be planning? Are they on a satellite? Look, you could see, you could see this going on there. Is that like a satellite or something? Satellite stuff. Or is it a big mustache? It might be the big mustache, but who knows? And then here we have funny, silly. What? What? This Chow? What? Okay, so I know, I I know what they look like, but I don't really know what they do. But these are Chows from like Sonic, and this is these are like well, these seem to be um less Chows from what they actually are to uh little like mascot. Which this is very cute. This is very cool, very neat. They seem to be like little uh figures, toys, or something like that. And this seems like a kids' place or something like that. And there's a there's the military guy. I guess he was here asking them for help, and then suddenly missiles come out of nowhere. I'm not sure if Sa a shadow sent these, but who knows? But yeah, this is very this is very neat, very cute, very interesting. But yeah, what did you do? Which I am very curious who's asking. Look at him. He looks really good. Very curious who he is asking that and why. And he looks really good. Not to mention, you know, all that's going on between you. Like, and it makes you wonder, does he using a motorcycle because he likes it? Or does it just make him... Is the limit going to be he can't move physically as fast as Sonic, 
But to make up for it, he uses a motorcycle in order to keep up. Which, that would be a very good, you know... It goes to show he's not all, all like, powerful like Sonic. He can't run as fast as him, but he can keep up with him and other things. And he uses a motorcycle to do uh, just that. And it doesn't seem to be an ordinary motorcycle. It's definitely one that he made a few adjustments to keep up with him, at least. Oh. I guess he ditches it right there to fight to fight Sonic. But I am wondering, what if they're hiding that he's Super Shadow here, maybe, or Super Sonic here? And really, what they're going to do is they're going to plan out being, okay, he can't fight him, but he has to go with uh, his end-all, be-all weapon, which will be Super Shadow, Super Sonic. And this is a really good frame right here, them both turning each other. I know they did the same thing with uh, Shadow and or Sonic and Knuckles in the second movie. But it still will never not look good. And it just always does. In this in this intro, this title. Three. With both Shadow down there and Sonic up here. Both glowing. Glow, gl glowing? It just looks really good. And it looks very reminiscent of the Shadow Adventure. Uh, Shadow Adventure 3. Uh, thing here with the. Uh, the way it's framed, hold on. Yeah, that looks good. And apparently, this is Doctor this is Doctor Robotnik's dad. And I like how they had Jim Carrey just put an old old man, uh, makeup and such, and just act as him, which is pretty great. <laughs> He's a papa. And yeah, it looks like him. That's straight up him. And they go in for a hug. That's kind of sweet. That's kind of funny. And I am wondering what maybe he's maybe he's gonna be the bad guy of this movie, uh, Ivo's dad. And then there's this guy trying to conflict, con being conflicted between okay, should I work with him? Is he gonna betray me? Should I avoid Sonic? What's the deal? And that's that that makes it very interesting because you know we still don't know what's the what between what's gonna happen in this movie and what's gonna be, you know, the main plot. You know. And is Shadow going to die? Anyways, uh, I think I've talked a lot. This is a pretty good trailer. It's very interesting to see what's going to happen. And uh, yeah, so uh, so Sonic the Hedgehog 3 official trailer. So uh, yeah, I guess I've talked enough about it. Um, let, let me know what you guys think. Do you think it was a good trailer? Do you agree with my thoughts about certain things? Uh, please let me know in the comments below. Please also like uh subscribe also if you enjoyed this video and um, really appreciate it for sure and uh yeah my name is andy this has been the sonic 3 trailer uh i'll see you guys next time bye bye